we get asked a lot, how do I electrify my own park and winch? Uh, is it possible? What parts do I need to get? Uh, it's very easy with the radial winches to convert to electric. Uh, you can see here, these are the parts basically that you'll add. Um, this is the center shaft, which is replaced on your winch. Uh, this one just is basically an extended version, which will connect to the, the drive shaft coming out of the gearbox. And this is on a spring-loaded clutch, so you can disconnect it with a disconnect rod that goes through there uh, when you put a, a locking handle in. Um, basically, it's a DC motor, either 12 or 24 volts. It's reversible. They're between one and one and a half horsepower motors. Uh, the right angle gearbox is just a gear reduction, uh, which has no backlash in it. So it, it creates a lot of power between the RPM of the motor, uh, gears it down, basically 24 to one ratio. Um, and then you get a lot of torque here. So together, the, the motor and gearbox can generate over 100 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, to put that in perspective, you'd have to have a one-foot handle, and to pull 100 pounds, you might be able to do just for a short period, but you can't do it for an extended period. Uh, maybe two people going uh, as hard as they can could do it. So it, uh, we normally would size uh, a powered winch the same as a manual winch because you will be using it with a handle. So it's not like, uh, well, we're just going to have a, a much larger uh, motor. We, we don't need a very big winch. You normally would size the winch exactly as you would with the manual. The parts uh, you would need to convert your winch to electric, again, would be um, this center shaft has to be changed in the winch. Uh, all the bases are pre-drilled and tapped to accept what is the uh, motor support? Of course, if you're doing an installation, the first thing you're going to have to do is take your winch off the deck. Um, you have to drill the proper size hole, uh, remount the winch. This is the support. It's an aluminum casting. It's got six bolts. They're pre-coated with red Loctite, so it will be a permanent, uh, more or less permanent uh, fix. Uh, the seals are here and on the bottom. You want to keep water from getting down through the winch into the gearbox. There's drain holes to help it shed the water out. You can see on the bottom of the winch, there's six tapped holes, which will eventually mate up with the support. Now the extended shaft for the electric winch, you'll have to knock out this uh, bushing just the bottom of it. It's perforated. So all you have to do is crack it through and then just remove the other pieces. See it pops off real easy. Just make sure that all the little pieces are removed. And then your center shaft will fit through there. Once you have the winch mounted to the deck, this part goes from underneath, fixes to the base. Actually, the motor and gearbox, once you lift it up in place and you align these parts here, there's uh, two, two fasteners that go from underneath and that will hold the whole weight of the motor and gearbox. So if you need to remove it, it's pretty straightforward and easy. You get two bolts you just need to remove. You drop everything down. The winches you would want to convert to electric, uh, we do from the size 40 on up. Uh, they would have to be self-tailing or uh, you would run into a problem with the length of the center shaft. So any Harkin winch, any radial winch or Performa winch from size 40 uh, up a uh, two speed or three speed can be converted to electric. Uh, we get a lot of people asking if they can convert their old Harkin winches. Uh, we can do from the size 40 uh, 
on up. Uh, if you have an older 40, it might make sense to look into a, a new radial winch as those parts are being uh, phased out. So it might make more sense to, uh, to just get the new Harkin winches um, if you have like an older 40. If you have a bigger winch and it's still in good shape like a 60 or a larger winch, uh, we can still get components. There are, they're not as easy to convert as the radial line is. So uh, you probably have to weigh that option if you want to replace the winch or just get the parts to electrify it. Uh, we also have a vertical gearbox. If you don't have room uh, for a right angle gearbox, <clears throat> it's a different configuration uh, where the motor is straight down. So if, you're, if you have a constraint uh, vertically, you can uh, use the vertical motor. Now, all electric winches have a disconnect rod, which is in case of you would lose power or you just want to use it manually for racing. Um, there's a, a, a pin, it's basically a, a straight pin that goes all the way through. Uh, when you put the locking handle in the in the handle socket, the pin would uh, depress and it basically operates just a mechanical disconnect below. So you can use it. Uh, if you are going to do uh, a race, we have a racing disconnect rod. Uh, so you don't have to fight the spring tension every time you want to put the handle in. Uh, it basically just permanently bypasses this. Uh, so you would have to physically screw the different pin through here. Um, it'll disconnect it for racing.